but a lot of people know that it's more profitable to show you the before and after like these insane results by using, you know, deceptive marketing. It's like when companies would sell mascara, the, the celebrity endorsing the product would be wearing false lashes and they'd be like, they have to now like disclose that. I guess, so today's a quick video. <sighs> I wanna talk about Michaela Nogueira. I'm sorry, I'm probably butchering that. If you don't know her, she went viral on TikTok showing incredible transformation because she used to have bad acne. So she used to show tips and tricks on how to cover those things up, have dewy skin and how it lasts all day. She'd come back and she'd show this incredible makeup. These, some of the best eye makeup I'd ever seen. And so she gained a following very quickly. Michaela has been in drama before. Clip was taken out of context where it sounds like she's saying that she works harder than someone doing a nine to five job when actually the original question was well, what do influencers actually do they don't work a nine to five and it was just her explaining that just because she's an influencer doesn't mean that she doesn't work between the hours of nine to five she still works a seven hour shift with that video out of context it does sound really bad and it really did rub me the wrong way when i first saw it but i watched charlotte dobre's video showed the full context i'll link it below she's responding to a hate comment that says poor you report to a job nine to five lol she's saying that she works a nine to five like everybody else we got caesar salad with a little bit of caesar dressing you know i'm feeling like a fucking <laughs> asshole today so um i'm gonna clap back at people because i'm tired i'm so tired every single day i get up at 6 a.m I spend about five to six hours filming video content that ranges from three to four videos and I spend a few hours editing that video content. Then I have to work on my other social media profiles, whatever it may be, Instagram, whatever. It's f***ing marketing. Then I'm in meetings from 12 to 5. I literally just finished work and it's 519. Try being an influencer for a day. Try it. Because the people who say it's easy are so far out of their minds, try it for a day. It is not for everybody. In fact, it's for a very small handful of people who can actually do this job. Because it's absolutely f***ing insane. You do not want to have this job. I'm just saying. So, I think with a little more context, she is saying that being an influencer isn't as easy as everybody thinks. Especially an influencer who has like 13 million followers and has to constantly make content. She's trying to make the point that she has a job. I was in the wrong for the way I thought. I did follow Michaela a little while ago. I unfollowed a few months ago. I had noticed that Michaela was doing the similar thing that I found Nikki Tutorials do previously. So Nikki Tutorials is a, an incredible artist, beautiful person in and out, don't get me wrong. But I do not trust her for makeup reviews. I haven't for years. I noticed that there were certain influencers who had never spoken about specific products and had had them in their favorites videos. And not long afterwards, it had been found out that these influencers had been paid to put these products in their favorites videos. And they were paid upwards of 50,000 pounds. That's more than most people get paid in a year. And these influencers, in my opinion, completely rubbed me the wrong way when they decided to do stuff like that. If you genuinely really like a product, Fine, but if the product has literally just come out, there is no way it's your favorite of the month or the year. You have literally just been paid to talk about it and it was so blatantly obvious. And you can tell anyway, because literally right after that favorites video, you never saw them use it and you never saw them talk about it again. So coming back to Michaela, I stopped trusting Michaela, like I said, a few months ago and I unfollowed her. I used to follow her and she was talking about products and saying like, oh my God, this, this is amazing. It really blurs my face and all this kind of stuff. And this powder is incredible. And the video would have a beauty filter on it. And it was so blatantly obvious. I'm not one to immediately be able to spot beauty filters, especially really, really subtle ones. Like I've watched uh, James Welsh and Robert Welsh talk about them sometimes and they can be very subtle. So you've really got to look out for it. So when influencers say, oh, this product's incredible and then put a beauty filter on, you're literally not showing what the product actually does or looks like. It's complete false advertising. And what that does is it makes people not trust you. The most important thing, Kathleen Lights has highlighted for years that she will never ever talk about a product she not, does not believe in because 
Her integrity with her audience is way more important than one paycheck. And it's one of the reasons why I will always, always trust her, Robert Welsh, and So Does Life on their reviews. If they do have sponsored content, they make sure to say, you know it's a good product anyway, because they've probably spoken about it for months prior to even getting sponsored. For example, So will say this part is sponsored by Benefit, and she's been using Benefit eyebrow products for years, literally about four or five years. So like I said, for the brows part of this video, I am working with Benefit. Benefit, thank you so much for sponsoring me. If you guys are familiar with my channel, my videos, my Instagram anyway, then you will know that I use Benefit brow products all the time. Robert Welsh, similar thing. He'll do a sponsored post and it will be about a product he has loved and adored and spoken about. And Stylevana have sent me a few things to use. Some of the products here I have used already in different shades, so that's good, I'm very familiar with them. And most of the brands, oh, actually all the brands here are brands that I really, really like. So I'm very happy to be able to use them with you today. So Stylevana, an online shop where you can buy some incredible Asian beauty and fashion. And again, similar thing with Kathleen Lights, the nude sticks, brow gel, she'd been talking about it for years, literally years, in every single end of year favourites video. She said, please bring this out as a, a separate brow gel. I will buy loads of them. The nude sticks gel. This is the best gel of all time. I feel like I've already spoken about it for like a million times, but I just want to say it again. I would love it if Nude Sticks would do me a solid and if they would just release this gel on its own, nothing will ever beat the Nude Sticks brow gel. I really, really hope, this is me manifesting, this is me manifesting in 2020. I actually asked for this in my last year's favorites video, so I'm gonna do it again. Nude Sticks, if you can come out with this product without this part, I would really appreciate it. And literally the first time they bring it out, who do they pick? Her because she was the one who was asking for it because she was so passionate about the product. The reason I say about trust and integrity is that Michaela chose to do a sponsored post, by the way, getting around saying hashtag sponsored or hashtag ad, rather than actually putting that in the description or putting it at the top or making it clear that this was an ad. It doesn't matter if you love the product, you should be making it clear to your audience that it is a sponsored post it's actually illegal in the UK to not do that. Apparently a lot of influencers are getting around it by saying they're a partner of whatever company. And Michaela did a sponsored post talking about a new L'Oreal mascara. You, l this literally just changed my life. This looks like false li This is how, what? <laughs> it's this L'Oreal telescopic lift. Look at the wand. Okay, so basically I'm taking the curved side and I'm going root to tip and I'm satin to coat the lashes. And then once you've done that, you flip the brush to the side and you use the hook comb to basically separate. This is one coat. Okay, I'm gonna add a second. Look at the length. Do you see that? I am speechless and I'm not sure anyone's gonna ever be able to compete with this. It was blatantly obvious that she had literally right between the clips put on some sort of individual lashes or an Ardell Wispy sort of strip lash, some very like natural fluttery lashes just to give you a little bit more volume because her lashes literally grow. You do not get more lashes from putting on a few more coats of mascara. She lied anyway in that video because she said apparently she only put on one coat at start and for the second coat that created all these more lashes she put on a second coat and then the comments when people were calling her out for her blatant false advertising she doubled down in the comments and said no it's just three or four coats of mascara well which is it then because in the video as well you said it was two coats and now in the comments you're saying it's three or four coats of mascara either way it's clearly fake and people back people backing her up saying well everyone knows this false advertising in the magazines or in like adverts they all use false lashes and shit to make mascaras look better okay no hate to the person that did the video that you guys just saw but why are you guys hating on somebody for lying granted maybe she's lying maybe she's not so what so you're telling me if i use a product makeup product skincare product let's just say a skincare product and it makes my face super clear like actually but you use it and it all of a sudden breaks your face out are you gonna call me a liar and say that i promoted the brand and it's actually ass no i mean you probably will if you guys are all hating on that one thing but okay and also even if she did put false eyelashes on, why does that matter? I know it's false advertising, but isn't everything false advertising? 
Isn't everything technically kind of lying? Just a little bit. You know, food commercials aren't actual, like, all food products, right? Like, they mix certain things to make certain things look better. Isn't that false advertising? I'm just confused. I know you've seen the videos of, like, how commercials actually make their hot chocolate look good. That type of stuff. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. You guys like to pick and choose who we're going to pick on today. It doesn't make that much sense to me. Don't get me wrong. Lying sucks. But everyone does it, especially when it comes to social media and especially when it comes to making money. Sorry, if somebody put $200,000 in your face and said, hey, promote my shitty mascara, I don't think you'd think twice about it. Obviously, everyone knows that. The reason people trust influencers more is to not falsely advertise to their own audience. Big companies, they're always gonna do that. They want things to be grabbed off the shelf immediately. Influencers who were normal everyday people who loved makeup like we did, we are not expecting them to lie to our fucking faces. And so, of all people, even Kathleen Light, who never gets herself into drama because she has a huge issue with anxiety, like crippling anxiety, that's one of the reasons why she hardly ever posts anymore because it's gotten really, really bad. She called out Michaela, not by name, but it was obvious. I am so shocked right now, and I, I feel like I'm gonna regret posting this because I love my peers, I love the beauty community, and I stay out of drama, I don't, I don't wanna talk shit about anybody, like, at all. Um, but I was just stretching after my workout, and I was on TikTok, and I saw, like, a big influencer who, like, I respect, and, like, she's awesome, and I, and I, and I like her TikToks a lot. But I just saw a sponsored post. Um, I'm, like, I'm, like, shaking because I'm so shocked. I'm, like, shaking because I'm so shocked. I saw her do a sponsored post, which that doesn't matter, because, uh, whatever, sponsorships are awesome. I do them all the time. Um, but it was about a mascara. And when she shows, like, the finished product of the second coat, she's, like, wearing Ardell Demi Wispies or something. Like, there's falsies there. Like, it's very clear. It's very, very clear. But she's saying that they're not falsies, it's just the mascara. I'm just like, damn, damn, that really sucks. Like for the rest of us who are so honest, <laughs> that really sucks. Kind of disappointed me, but what can you do? Kathleen Lights, who never, ever, ever will get into drama, who will never, ever pick a fight with someone because she would rather stay in the shadows and do her own thing and stay out of drama. Even she called her out because it's not right. Do not cash in your subscribers, your followers, for a fucking paycheck. The problem is as well, people have said there was no reason to lie. This was a really, really good mascara. Bristles to comb and separate the lashes because we don't want no clumps. Unless that's the look you're going for then. So this is after one dip and like one sort of wiggling application. I'm gonna go in with a second. I'm not gonna cut it. So I might speed it up, but I'm not gonna cut it, so. The thing that is so sad is that it's actually a really good mascara. You did not need to fake the results. Other people have shown that mascara and not faked it. The fact that L'Oreal is gonna keep her as a partner after she falsely advertised their own mascara honestly just looks bad on L'Oreal because they're getting a shitload of backlash about this as well. People are now gonna think automatically that can't be a very good mascara if you have to fake the results. So they're not gonna buy it. So that's gonna cost L'Oreal money. She's just not doing herself any favors with her subscribers, and followers with L'Oreal themselves she fucked up and the fact that she can't just admit look I didn't think it was extreme enough my page and my channel is all about extremes I felt like I had to exaggerate it a little bit more just, just apologize rather than just straight out lie to everybody what I mean she even showed in a video how you fake this bullshit and called out other influencers for doing the same and then literally does it herself this with this mascara is absolutely incredible it truly did a phenomenal job I mean, literally, just look at the difference. So I just lied straight to your face. And you probably believed it. These lashes, totally fake. And that's what brands do. They lie to you about how things work. Would you have known these were false lashes? Maybe not. You're someone who doesn't have a lot of lashes, doesn't know how to apply lashes, or just wants a little lash lift? This video is for you. 
gate. Let's start by applying two coats to your favorite mascara. We want to achieve the fuller lash look. We're gonna use the Kiss Lash Couture Full Lash Extension. They're super affordable. You get a ton of them. Here's the current one I'm using. This is so easy to do. You need a strip lash glue. We're gonna take one of these lash pieces and get some glue on it. You don't gotta let it dry. Give it a quick blow. Literally gonna take the piece and just lay it right on your lashes and press it down. That's something I have noticed about Michaela. She is very hypocritical. That it's like one rule for her and one rule for another. Genuinely is starting to feel like she is the new generation of beauty influencer Jaclyn Hill. Because don't forget, Jaclyn Hill also showed her own Jaclyn Cosmetics beauty powder that's meant to blur your skin and was using a fucking filter. Like, but I just wanted to show you guys what my skin looks like with absolutely no filter when I just have on foundation, concealer, and my mood light setting powder. Because I feel like the people who know about mood light, like they know, they know it's that bitch. But I don't talk about that often, but I use it to set my entire face. And do you see the glow? You can see her necklace disappearing. It's disappearing. The, the blur filter is so painfully obvious that an item of jewelry on her is glitching in and out. Normally this wouldn't bother me, like whatever user filter, but this is her brand she's talking about. This is a product that she's selling and she's using this blurring filter to show you. Skin looks like with absolutely no filter. How her skin looks with absolutely no filter. Can we not use false advertising on your own fucking products? If I had any brand, I would want it to have integrity. Don't forget, Michaela is quite young. I mean, she's not really young, but she is quite young. So her audience is going to be even younger. So if a, some sort of 12, 13 year old, you know, they're not going to have a lot of money. I don't know how much teenagers nowadays get for, <laughs> for pocket money. But for example, if they're only able to get one beauty product that month and they choose to get that mascara and are disappointed because of what Michaela has falsely advertised to them, think how disappointed they're gonna be someone they thought they could trust <sighs> so anyway that's my thoughts on this situation i hope michaela will do better i hope she'll just apologize it's not a huge controversy just fucking apologize jesus it's really not that difficult you can be an influencer and do shit wrong and apologize for it <laughs> that's it for me i hope you enjoyed the video give it a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you like it i'd really appreciate it but i hope that you enjoyed the video and i hope to see you on the next one bye